Hey there, I'm Jen. Welcome to my shop, Sentimental Wood Art. Come along and join me on my woodworking journey as I create things that just touch my heart and make me smile and learn to get more creative with each adventure and project that I dive into. Can't forget my puppies since I'm a dog walker. A lot of the things I do are meant to spark creativity and share ideas. I hope you find something that generates an idea for you. Some of you may know I have an Etsy shop. I have this new project through that that I'm working on this week. Look at them! Aren't they adorable? Now, can I find a design that will do them justice? All dogs have their own personality and their own shapes and sizes, and sometimes it's difficult to find what would just fit. I also had recently a cat that I designed, and the story behind her she liked to give high fives, and I thought that was so adorable, and I was lucky enough to find a silhouette that fit that, and that turned out perfect, I think. Really did that cat's memory justice. Speaking of cats, somebody needed some attention while I was trying to design the boxers that I was working on this week, so it made it a little difficult when I was working in Inkscape to try and figure out dimensions and sizes. It's hard when you're online to tell how big things are going to be. Now, does this look like it's 12 inches long? No. So I need to figure out how I'm going to print these on paper and, and get them all to work together. Come along and join me on my journey. Part of the process is helping clients pick out wood. Now, I've learned along the way that giving too many choices just creates issues. So I have now narrowed it down to two pieces of wood and then I try to make sure that I map out how much room I have on the wood because one time I had to go out shopping after the client picked a piece of wood. Found this nice piece of Chechen for these boxers. They should work out. Got to slice it up and get going. This wood is seriously thick, so I'm going to take some packing because when I was drilling my holes to make sure that I could thread my scroll saw blade, it started to smoke. So this packing tape should help with the burning. It's been a while since I've done this thick of wood. I forget how soon you need to start making your turns when it's thicker wood. I guess I could par compare it to driving my little car versus the SUV because I started way back here to make this turn and then I was like, oh, I'm not gonna get all the way in there. So rather than try, I just made it a little more swoopy. All right, this should be interesting. These little tight corners in here. Yikes! down. Man, this wood it was so thick it took me an hour and a half to saw this out. So now we've got two more to go and I'm pretty sure this was the easiest one. So many on the fly decisions with this guy. I'm going to have to go back to Inkscape and see what exactly happened. Why did I have to compensate here to make this even? And I still need to decide Look at that paw over there. It's going to focus. So this guy is hanging off a little bit, but that's because it's supposed to be set back. 
And I've done that before and it looks good. I just sometimes need to decide how much I'm compensating for things. And how I try to decide on things before I pull off my pattern is I look at it from behind to see if things look a little funky or if they're good. Like I decided to bulk up this E right here. That might be a little funky. I may need to go back in and shave some off. Once again on Inkscape, these lined up, but when I get my ruler out, it's pretty darn close. I think I'm gonna make these feet touch. So it's a little more stable. I don't know what I do on Inkscape that makes things all wonky when I print it. Because when I go back and look, it's on the lines that I created there. Maybe I just like to work outside the box or the lines. My size five blades kept breaking, so I had to go to a bigger size. I'm a little concerned that it's a little rougher looking. We'll see when I get through this. Oh, they turned out pretty well. Now I just need to do some sanding and my polyurethane and we should be good to go. Yay! I'm taking a look at this finished product and I'm a little concerned about this right here. I'm like, does that look funky? I know that's supposed to be his back haunch. So I went back to Inkscape and looked at it. And now I attached it when I was working on the scroll saw because I was worried about the strength of the foot attached to the A. I was contemplating going back in and rounding it off a little bit, but I think I'm good. It works. Sophie looks good. And then we have Lola.